Dames en heren, welkom terug hier bij Tussen die Horens. We zijn episode 5 today and we're here with Jesse Creel. He just came back. Did you win the World Cup under 19? No, we didn't win the World Cup. We lost in the final, but uh, yeah, it was a good experience. Yes, I saw that final. I just wanted <laughs> him to say that because it made me feel so sad. Yes, you played so well though, guy. Thanks, man. I tried, I tried my best and obviously the... We, the, we didn't get the result we wanted, but yeah, we had a lot of fun and we enjoyed ourselves. Right, so what position do you play? I am a utility back, but I prefer full back. But centre, obviously, is a very close second. Do you enjoy playing centre? Yes, I love centre. There's a lot of space, especially on outside centre. I think there's a, yeah, there's a lot of space. I mean, you get the, the, you get, obviously, you touch the ball a lot more and um, yeah, you're much more involved in the game, which is very nice. Okay, and in centre you have to go through the uh, over the advantage line. Is there yeah. any secrets how you want to how you get over the advantage line? Uh, obviously, you have your set plays and your and your um, your mini moves that you that you do against other back lines to to try and break their line. So I think those help a, a lot. And then obviously you've just got to be you've got to be fast and strong to get through the to get over the advantage line. So if you have to play against your, because you got a brother, ladies and gentlemen, uh, there, there was another episode we had a twin brother, and we have a twin brother here as well, eh, Jesse? Yes, I've got another twin brother. He plays uh, centre for the under 21s over here. So sometimes do you actually uh, go home and say tomorrow I've, I think I'm going to play under 21 and you must go play senior. Do you like switch roles? No, unfortunately or fortunately we don't look the same, so I wouldn't want to look the same as him. And I don't think he would want to look the same as me. But uh, so we can't switch out. But I think we, if we look the same, we definitely would. <laughs> <laughs> if you have to play uh, against any centre in the entire world, who would that be? Uh, obviously, you want to play against the best to test yourself. Yeah. So I definitely think I'll play against Brian O'Driscoll. So earlier you, we discussed that you were a utility player. So being a utility player, like centre, you have to have quick feet, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. I think the plyometrics and the quick feet definitely help with one-on-one uh, -on -one and beating your defender. And I think on uh, on 13 or for on 13 on centre, outside centre, you get a lot of situations where you have to you have to beat the defender one-on-one. -on -one. So I think that's where the the stepping and the plyometrics and the ladders come in. Oh, okay. Is that what that things are called? Pile plyometrics and stuff. <laughs> oh, we got fancy names for that. <laughs> oh, that's why. Uh, and that cones and the cones. And yeah, yeah. <laughs> Doping the cones. And you must be able to tackle, right? Yes, I think um, on, on, on centre you have to make good reads. Yeah. You have to stop the, the momentum so the yeah. guys, they don't get momentum so they don't come yeah. in behind you. Yeah. And I think, um, yeah, definitely the, the tackle bag and, the, and obviously doing one on one tackling, yeah. you get a lot of situations when their centres get the one on one. You have to Stop there. I saw you play um, in a in the World Cup, my friend. Yeah. You scored tries there and stuff, but you, you look so so big, so much bigger now. Oh, I try, I try <laughs> to. We obviously we gym, yeah. So I try and do my do my part in the gym, but I'm not that big. I think you just you obviously in some your glasses <laughs> need some tweaking or something. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you for sharing the the tips. What is that ladder called again? Uh, the, the ladder is just called the ladder. Oh. But you do plyometrics and, and footwork in the, in the ladder. Oh, yes. plyometrics and footwork in the ladder yes. with the tackling bag. There <laughs> we go. That's my new technique if I do Kung Fu next time. <laughs> plyometric tackling. Thank you so much, Jesse, for sharing some tips with us here. The future of South African rugby right here. Jesse Creel and his brother is also going to be there. Thank you so much for spending time with us in the Worlds. Thanks, Joey. Master Appreciate good. it, my man. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, great fun. Nice to, nice to be part of it, and we always just see what's going on halfway, half time. And yeah, it's so nice to do, be doing it ourselves. Yeah, I knew I was gonna win. Um, I thought <laughs> it was gonna be like a, a difficult opponent, but it was quite easy. So it's nice to be in the winning side. Quite fun. I didn't know you have to cheat to win the game, but I mean, congratulations to them. Um, tell us of the routes that they won. So.
Uh, you can't win every day. Eh? You've, you've got to give someone else a chance to win as well. So some big congrats, eh? <laughs>